Okay, uh, let me go to your point. Any mm. case for me is like my brother, and I love him so much. And Jose Camilo is my brother, my role model. Love him so much, even if my mother in the village she knows. So uh, what's happened is I met Jose Camilo when I was when I was airport. It was airport. I was airport heading to uh, Nairobi. So uh, Camilo he came and told me like you know how many was good. I was like, yo, what's up, bro? So, what's good? Uh, I think it's the right time for us to, uh, to do a song together. I was like, yo, you're a regent, bro. You did a lot to East Africa music, and I really appreciate you. So then, uh, I gave him my number, then he gave me my number. He gave me his number. So, uh, yeah. So, I can tell me some stuff. I think it was two or three beats. So, um, we discussed me and my producer was in the studio. So uh, it was vibe, but I wanted more vibe like, in Abana. As you know, this is in the city. So, uh, yeah, so in Abana, it was song that I did already. So I told, I told Camille, like, I ah, the song that I did already. It was DJ7. DJ7? Yeah, man, yeah, man. So it was DJ7 song, you know what I'm saying? So I told Camille, like, okay, I have the song that I did with DJ7. So I think it's better I can talk to DJ7 than I'll give it to you. It's, it can be your song. So as long as we need to create something good, so it can be just your song. So I sent it to him, then he liked it, he liked the song, so he working on it, then he sent it to me. That was February. So then after that, at the time, I was working under WC Yosafi. Uh, okay, right now I'm independent, so at the time I was working with WC Yosafi. So, Nikamombi, I told him like, okay, so for me, I think we're good, the song is good, you kill it, bro. And I love his verse. So you kill it, so I think the process, all you have to do is just contact my manager. Then I gave him my manager's number so that I can give you clearance of the song. Because when you upload the song on digital platform like Spotify, uh, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, you have to. They, they they will ask you if the song is collaboration. Okay, maybe for example, Cameron fits harmonize. They want to see clearance from harmonize. So uh, yeah, so I told him like, okay, contact my management. So then they'll give you clearance that we're good to go. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So he didn't do that. So at the, at, the, at the end of the day, I've been texting him like, bro, what's going on? Did you have any plan with the song? He didn't get back to me like three, two times. So I thought maybe, okay, uh, maybe. Uh, he didn't like the song, maybe he had another plan. So, because I confirmed that when I was in South Sudan, because we went to South Sudan to uh, perform, we had a show together. But I'm the, I was the first to go there. Then Camilo, he came after me. Then we was we was in the same hotel, but he didn't even come and ask for, uh, okay, my young brother, you're here, you're okay, something like that. Because he's the one who, uh, who connected me with the South Sudan people, yeah. in a sense. But he didn't even come. So I was like, okay, maybe I did something bad to my brother. But I was so disappointed. So uh, then I remember the moment it was uh, May, June. It was June. So yeah. me and Kenzo, we have different relationship. Me and Kenzo is like brothers. We have a different relationship. So he told me, like, what we do for 2019, our fans. I uh, missed the one to music. I told him, like, okay, uh, let's do this. So I sent it to him, the song. So, uh, yeah, so he loved the song, and then he killed it, did the verse. Then, uh, then we, we were shooting the video. So uh, then I told him, like, you know about the song, Camilo, uh, but he didn't want to release. He didn't want to drop it, like, five or six fucking months now, now, so he didn't want to release. So like, okay, so, okay, let's contact, contact him. But I told him, like, after he came contact, he doesn't reply, he doesn't, he doesn't reply me. Then I reply my text. So we decided to shoot the video then drop it. But at the end of the day, before we drop it the song, Camilo and drop it the song. So uh yeah. But at the end of the day, this is East Africa and my brothers and I love them. Uh you guys just pick which one is the best. It's not like big issue. Even if tonight I'm here, I've been talking to Camilo, maybe we can jump on the studio, we can do another one because they are my brother and I love them. So you just pick which is the best for you. If you love Camilo version, use it. 
If you love to the Kenzo version, use it. But this is music. It's not like big age. It's not like big things. I'm like my brothers. I love them, and I, they are my inspirations. Yeah, that's what it is. Harmonize. Yeah, you did a song with the Shiba. Yeah, yeah. How is the performance of that song in the Tanzanian? Uh... Oh, the song is big. Oh my goodness, the song is big everywhere. The song is big. I was in Kenya last time. The song is too big. Tanzania, the song is too big. So I'm proud of Shiba. I'm proud of that project. A shout out to Cox Studio because I met Shiba at Cox Studio and she became to be my friends. So yeah, yeah. So you guys just expect more. And Shiba and Harmonize, Harmonize and Ghana musician. Yeah. Uh, because what I see, I want to see the future of Afro East music to the world. So we are East African and our biggest language is Swahili. Mm -hmm. So let's push Afro East to the world together. Yeah. Uh, Harmonize, yeah. uh, we heard that uh, you are ready for a seat in parliament in Tanzania. How is how, how true is that? Because rumors have been around. No, it's not rumors. Yeah. It's not rumors. It's real because President of Tanzania, Mushima John Pombe Makufuri. Uh, yeah, so uh, he said that. Mm. He said, like, harmonize he deserved to be. Mm. So for me, I was so happy, you know what I'm saying? Because that one means that harmonize is not just a musician, so he can do another things. Mm. So, so I, really, I really appreciate that. And so <coughs> me and, uh, and me and my people from Tanzania, the part that the uh, president mentioned it, the place is uh, Tandahima, in region mm. Sumtuala, which is always born there. So we're discussing that we can make decisions together. But for now, it's not, it's not official. Mm. Yeah. So harmonize, mm. talking about uh, Wasafi, please c kindly clear the air for your Ugandan mm. fans. What exactly went wrong and uh, what did you leave out of the blue? No, 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 no. no. Uh, I think the only thing I can say is not something wrong. Uh, it's just movement and business. We are not we're not in the bad situation, we are not beefing, we love each other, we support, but it came to point that uh, I decided myself I want to be independent. Uh, I don't want to lie to you, it was some problem that we, uh, we couldn't make it to fix it, but it's not like we are we have in the bad situations, because they just told me like, okay, if you want to work independent, all you have to do is Follow contracts. What contract says you have to pay us some amount like two hundred thousand dollar. So uh, they told me that. So I didn't have money at that point. But I decided to sell my my asset. I was building some houses, so I decided to sell them to put money together to pay them because Wasafi for me is like my family. They took it from down now and here. So I really respect them. I really respect everybody in Wasafi. My fellow artists. Everybody, Mboso, Lava Lava, and everybody, Diamond, Abitale, the whole management team, because they made me to be harmonized. So I really love them and I really appreciate. But it just, I think it's just time, it's just period time that God said, okay, harmonize at that point, you have to work in a penalty. So there are some issues that we couldn't mix, we couldn't, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't fix. Yeah, it was, it was hard to fix for all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you now starting up your own record label or what? No, I don't have a record label yet, but so far I have my, 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 my management, which is Konde Music Worldwide. So everything about harmonize you can just ask Konde Music Worldwide. And my first single, as you know, is Uno. It's number one song right now on training in Tanzania, number one in Kenya. And I hope you Uganda fans that support me, they love the song and the video coming out anytime soon. Mm. As an artist in East Africa, yeah, yeah, bro. How, how do you rate our music in East Africa according to the worldwide music? First of all, my wish, my wish, I know Tanzania we have our own music, our local music, which is Bongo Forever, and Kenya they have their music, which is Ngeri, again, something like that, yeah. and the same in uh, Uganda and Rwanda too. But I wish, this is my wish, East African we can put together our music and record that he has a Swahili, because the biggest language in East Africa. Swahili, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Swahili is like biggest language in South Africa. So we can put together, then we can call our music Afro East. Because when you say the, the African music, if you go America, UK, if you say I'm, uh, I'm doing Afro beats, they will ask you, are you from Nigeria? Are you from Ghana? Because they decided to do that back in the days. So uh, I think, I wish 
East Africans, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, we can call our music Afro East so it makes more sense because uh, what the meaning of Afro East because we are from East Africa. So this is Afro, but Afro East is not Afro beat, so that's my wish. Uh, so, so far we are doing very good, so we can put everything together, we can collaborate, we can push our music, music together, we we'll go far, trust me. Uh, Harmonize, what should Ugandans expect tonight at Club Governor? Well, tonight is Uno night, but I love my fans. I love to sing. I love to sing for them. So you guys come up, come up, come to, come to, come to the gate. Don't be late. Get your ticket right now. Tell your friend, your daddy, mother, uncle, auntie, and everybody come party with me. Because the boys here want to party with you. But very soon I will announce my concert, my concert in Uganda. I want to do. I want to sing for my fans. I want to do sure that everybody can come out. My real fan, because I came from ghetto, so my real fan I know they're from ghetto. I know today, uh, tonight is something like special for Uno, some beautiful ladies and gentlemen that will be there. But I want to sing for my local fans, so I'm working with my management who we'll come up with something big. Yeah, yeah. So you guys just stay tuned. Yeah, Uganda for me is my home, Burundi, Tanzania, Kenya. So I'm here to represent. When I see my future, I'm here to present East African music. It's not just Tanzanian music, Kenyan music, no, East African music. So shout out to media, shout out to my fans, keep supporting me, because I'm a nobody without you guys. I have a long way to go, I have so many dreams to follow, but without you guys, I'm a nobody. So keep supporting me, keep listening to my songs, keep supporting me, whatever, everywhere. My shows, my songs and everything. So I love you so much, man. Any more questions? Thank you.